Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today what I'd like to go over is how to install Ubuntu Server 22.04. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and download uh, Ubuntu 22.04 obviously. Um, so I'm going to open up my browser here and the first place we're going to go to right here is where it says Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. LTS standing for Long Term Support. Uh, this, this version of Ubuntu Server will be held for support up until I believe at least 2025. And so there are several uh, versions of it that you can download. Uh, you can download the, test, the desktop version. All right, there's the link right there, and this is for 64-bit. Or you can download the server version, which is also 64-bit. You can do it from there, and those are direct downloads, or you can download it from what is known as a BitTorrent, or as a BitTorrent. Either or is up to you. All right, and so other than that, also on this page, there are instructions for how to burn your image or your ISO file to a USB. And you just come right over here, left click on it, and it, you, and it should have versions for all, um, instructions for all Windows versions, and for possibly even Mac and uh, Linux, okay? So you just come here and you just follow these instructions. Yep, there you go. Windows, Mac, and I'm sure, yeah, and Ubuntu, so that's Linux. So you just go there and don't worry, I will include the links of all applicable information in the description. And so other than that, the next thing you want to do is you want to consider your system requirements. So let me start by saying also that it doesn't matter whether you're going to install this as an, a virtual machine or as a bare metal physical machine. You're going to install it the, the same way either way and the virtual environment is going to be the same. The installation of it either way. So. I believe with the 22.04, the one that we need to look at is a uh, core right here, 20 slash 22. And as you can see right here, it's saying for a uh, bare minimum of system memory, you should have at least 384 megabytes of RAM, possibly even as much as 512. For our installation, I'm going to install at least two gigs of RAM. So, follow the instructions accordingly as to what system requirements you need for your server. And so that's it for that. As I said, I will include the links in the um, in the description as well. And so the next thing we're going to do for our installation, we're going to install it in a virtual environment. Um, it's going to be virtual box, but as I said, the installation will be the same. The instructions will be the same following them, whether you're going to be doing this in a virtual machine or in a physical bare metal machine. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Here's going to be our Ubuntu uh, server right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on start. And it's going to start the install. All right. So before we continue, if you need to stop the clock, because otherwise it will automatically do a boot like within five to 10 seconds. If you just go up or down, that'll stop the installation clock. And the reason why we're doing that is I want to make an adjustment so that you guys can see exactly what we're doing here. I'm going to go ahead and do this, um, what is known as scale mode. All right. Now, I 
after I do that, I should be able, let me uh, close this background here. I should be able to adjust the screen. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully you guys out there in uh, video land can see this. So from here you can either test your memory or you can install the Ubuntu server. Obviously we're going to go ahead and install the Ubuntu server for 22.04. So I chose that and then I just press enter on the keyboard. And it's going to go through the installation. And in a moment, it'll come up with some uh, more text, and then we'll move on from there. Ubuntu Server 22.04. I've used this on a few of my web servers. It seems to work pretty good. Um, I like it. And so. I thought I'd go ahead and give this in, in, uh, these instructions for how to uh, install it for those of you who are not aware of how to do that. All right, so yeah, as I say, we're going through the, um, it's going through its power on self test post, checking things out. And in a few moments, it should go ahead and continue with the installation. All right, and here we go. For the first screen, it's going to ask you to choose your uh, keyboard settings. Um, and for us, this is going to be English. And then we just press Enter. Obviously, you would choose the version for your language. All right, and then on this next one, it's asking about updates. And let's see, version 22.06 of the installer is now available. I, You can go ahead and choose to do whatever you like. Me, I'm just going to use uh, 22.04. So I'm going to arrow down to where it says continue without updating, and then press Enter. All right, and again, it's asking for keyboard layout and um, uh, configuration. And just make sure you use the settings for your language. Mine is already set for English. And we're just going to click on Done, which is highlighted in green, and press Enter. And now it's asking for the base installation. Uh, what are we going to install? Um, I'm going to install the default server, the Ubuntu server. You can choose either that or you can choose um, the bottom one, which is minimize. Now, if you do want to choose one or the other, let me, okay, on your keyboard to get up to this point right here, you just choose the shift key and the tab key, both at the same time. It'll go up to this version right here and let's say you wanted to choose uh, Ubuntu server all you got to do is go down to it with your arrow either up or down oh excuse me you can also go up with your arrow you can choose the up arrow from here and go there and then to make your selection you just choose the space bar on your keyboard all right but as I said, for us, we're just going to go ahead and choose the uh, default, which is the uh, Ubuntu server. So I chose it with the keyboard. Then I hit the tab button to go down to done. Or you can hit the down arrow. And then from there, I hit enter. All right. And then from here, it does a, a automatic configuration of your network as long as you're using DHCP or you could choose to manually put it in. For us, we're just gonna choose the default for uh, DHCP version four, and then just press enter. If you have a proxy server that you wanna install, you can put that here in this configuration so far. Otherwise, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip it. I'm not putting in a proxy uh, server address. We're just gonna go ahead and press enter. And this is going to choose your um, 
your Ubuntu repositories for your uh, for the software that you may or may not want to install on your uh, your server and I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at default and press enter all right and this is this right here is where we can go ahead and choose which um, what type of how do we want to install it do we want to install Ubuntu server on the entire disk or do we want to install it on a partition how do we want to install it I am going to choose the default so I'm gonna leave it at use the entire disk I'm gonna leave it at uh, setting up the um, setting it up as a virtual or a um, what is this called this is called a LVM a logical volume manager or if you wanted to you could go ahead and do a custom storage layout that that's where you would go and if you chose that you would be able to choose your partitions and how big they are the size that you want on them, everything like that otherwise though we're gonna leave it at the system defaults and we're just gonna go down to where it says uh, done I just hit the up arrow to navigate through these I know I said the the uh, the tab and the shift key but you can choose the up and down arrows and so we go down to the done and then we just hit enter and this is giving you us a brief summary of all the things that we've chosen and what we want on it and then from here we just you make sure everything is good if you don't like it you can either reset it or hit the back button I'm good with everything so far, so I'm just going to press enter for done. Okay, and then it's asking you to confirm, are you sure you want to continue? We want to continue, so we hit the down arrow on continue and press enter. All right, and then from here, this is where we go ahead and put in our user information. And the server name, which for me is, I'm just going to, oops. I'm going to call mine uNode. And then put in my password. And then confirm my password. All right, and hit the arrow key down to where it says done. And then I'm going to go ahead and press enter on the keyboard. Now, um, do you want to install OpenSSH so that you can re uh, SSH, remote SSH into your server? I normally choose Y for yes. Um, do you want to import any SSH identifiers? I don't have any, so I'm just going to go down and choose Done. And then I'm going to press Enter on the keyboard. Now right here, do you want to install some extra, um, some extra packages? You can scroll down, choose whichever one you want. And then you can go ahead and click on the down arrow when you're done and then press enter on your keyboard. All right. And then after you've done that, that's how you install your uh, operating system, your Ubuntu server. And then from there, as you can see, it's it's going to it takes all of the uh all of the selections that you've chosen and then it's going to go ahead and install the kernel and the application packages that you've chosen which for us I believe all we chose was uh, SSH and so that's it after it's done it's going to ask you if you want to reboot and then you just go ahead and choose to reboot and that will install your Ubuntu server 22.04 like I said, it's a very good and stable uh, application. Um, for this video, I will include the links, all the applicable links in the description 
of this video. Um, I will be uploading this video to both YouTube and Facebook. So please, when you get a chance, if you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe. I'd appreciate it very much. And this won't be the only video. We'll go over some more videos, or I will have more videos about how to navigate through the server of Ubuntu 22.04. So, thank you very much. I appreciate you looking at this video. Um, I hope you have a good day or evening wherever you are. Thank you and bye-bye.